join me in Portugal at the launch of the new, or rather re-revamped, Ford EcoSport, whose production has now been moved from India to Romania, and it's a much, much more convincing little SUV than it was before. The EcoSport I tested was the sporty ST-Line trim model with peppy 1-liter EcoBoost engine in its most powerful 140 PS guise. Hooked up to a slick shifting 6-speed manual gearbox, it made light work of motivating the vehicle, giving it lively acceleration, especially in the first three gears and up to highway cruising speeds. One highlight of the experience was the very precise feel you get when rowing through the gears. What's certain is that the vehicle feels much quicker than its leisurely claimed 0 to 100 km per hour sprint time of 11.8 seconds would suggest. In fact, I only read the spec sheet after driving the car for the first time and to me it felt a good 2 seconds quicker to sprint, possibly thanks to its 180 Nm torque. Power is sent to only to the front wheels in this particular example, although all-wheel drive is available. The ST-Line EcoSports ride is really a bit stiff, but it's not uncomfortable. And I attacked a few bends earlier at quite some pace and it didn't even flinch. Steering feels precise, with minimal on-center vagueness and approaching bends at speed poses no problem for the EcoSport in ST-Line guys. There is definitely fun to be had driving it in this spec. With this re-revamp, Ford has tried to bring the EcoSport up market and with this entirely new interior, they've mostly managed that. I mean, I've not seen armrests this soft in a car this cheap for a while now. They are really rather impressive, although they are negatively offset by the, um, the hard and scratchy plastic on top of the door cards. Ford offers three sizes of SYNC 3 infotainment for the EcoSport, and during my press launch drive, I only got to use the largest of the screens, the 8-inch unit. Smaller 6.5 and 4.2 inch variants are present in lower spec models. It's still far from the best on the market, but Ford has made it much more bearable than sync systems of old. The fact that the re-revamped EcoSport is a much much better car than the one it replaces is undeniable. It finally feels like a contemporary car that belongs in Ford's range. It looks as good as it can now, given its slightly awkward proportions. It's a short and tall looking thing whichever way you try to spin it. Now it's a small SUV slash crossover model which you can definitely shortest when looking to spend your cash in this segment. At least on first impression.